You know, this morning we got a let one to show you guys this laser level cm 508 it's made by sigmund and uh, it's it's a nice laser uh we've used it it's self-leveling or you can level it yourself either way but self-leveling is a really really nice feature but it comes in a really nice nice carrying case to where you can keep it safe get it out and show it to you here it doesn't come with a tripod no but it does have a, a little clamp where you can set it on something and it has a little clamp that comes with it too yeah you can use if you want and it's got your little ch charging wire that comes with it you just use a usb port but this is nice it's adjustable you can fine tune it like that if you want to raise it up a little bit and just screw this right onto your tripod it's got two different setups for two different tripods on it but it really is handy but you can just that screws on just right here like this pretty easy to use and you can just set this wherever you want to like I say you put that on your tripod and you can raise this up and down let's turn it on and show you how it works you can see it coming over here and it'll go right up your wall if you're inside. But you can you can raise and lower that just a little bit. But like I say, it'll self-level. Uh, it also has a power setting on the top right here um, that bright controls the brightness of the light. So yeah. you can turn that up or down. But uh, we used it, as you'll see in the video, we used it on our floor joists. And we'll show you some more of that in the video. But uh, like I say, it's made by, let me shut that off so it don't hit me and die. <laughs> it's made by Sigma. Sigmund. Sigmund, yeah, Sigmund. And uh, it's a nice little unit. We really recommend it to people. It really did us good. And this has got a little switch on the side here where you can unlock it and self-level it if you want to. And the self-leveling feature, if you use it, um, you have to get it fairly flat. Yeah, you can't set it like this and it's not going to, it's got to right. be fairly close. Like four degrees, I yeah. think. And then, but it has a little pendulum in there that, that levels it. Uh, we used it in manual mode just because of where we were using it and it worked fine that way too. And the manual mode is nice because then if you want to project a line that's not perfectly level, you can um, set it to go wherever it needs to be. Yeah. But let me show you how bright it is even out here. <laughs> you can see the see the lines on the wall yeah, this even out in this daylight outside it's overcast but still pretty yeah pretty bright out here but it's a handy little tool we recommend it to everybody would have been really nice when we were putting the walls up would have been a lot easier to would have saved us a lot of measuring to be able to tell yeah for the heights yeah for all four corners when they were going up level or not we just had to do it all by measuring by hand which was we didn't have it in time <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll get to the video now and show you how we used it to level our floor joists. And we're getting ready to level the floor out again and make sure nothing's, you know, worked up. We got pretty close, but um, we're gonna try out this new tool we got. It's a Sigmon Laser Level CM508. And I've got it set up on the little tripod. It comes with a holder, but you have to have your own tripod that fits on just about anything. I've got it in manual mode right now, which to do that, there's a little switch on the side that you turn on right here onto manual mode. And then you press the button on the top until the lights come on and then they'll flash um, for a little while. But what I'm doing, what I'm using it for is I've got it lowered down enough to where, I don't know if you can see it on there, but it's just clipping the top of a couple of the high spots on the on the log. Yeah, you can see the green light right there. Yeah, and so I'm going to plane that down. You can tell that's a little high too if you put a board on it. It rocks back and forth just a little bit. So it's pretty close, but I've got a couple high spots. There's another high spot right there by the door. Oh yeah, you can see it. Yeah. See how good that light shows up even in this daylight. Yeah. That's a good laser. that down until 
until the laser goes on past it, and then we'll know that it's then we'll know that it's flat. And uh, we're hopefully going to use this too on doing our when we put up our shelves and stuff in the cabin to get them all leveled out. Yeah, this is the first one that I've seen that had the self lever or that I've used that has that self lever on leveler on it. Uh, if you have it out of whack too far, it tells you that the light won't turn green on top. So it tells you if you need to readjust your tripod, which is really a neat feature. And so when you get that tripod leg set, the whole green light just comes right on and, and it self levels. And what I like is the vertical too. You can see the line going up the hall right there. It's got a double laser system. You see it go right up the roof. So that could be useful for even cutting light trim and everything. Yeah. And you could use it for all kinds of stuff. Could be real handy. Okay, so I'm gonna plane these off and then we'll get back to you. That's gonna be nice. Get our floor a lot lower. When the line disappears. That means it's good. That means it's good. Short eight. Right. God, you're so smart. I've never figured that out. Well, in theory, there's some that are too low, so we'll have to push them up a little bit. Yeah. Put your under yeah. I'm putting this big beam under here just to, the floor feels good, but I just, I'm going to set a, a almost 22 foot beam from this one all the way to the other end of the house. And I'm going to put jacks up to it through the, uh, each one of the, Joyce's just to make it good and solid. I never have to worry about it again. Yeah, we're going to we're going to shove them up just to here. Anyway, that's where we're at today. This new laser. Cleaning this down. And when the light comes off the beam, that means it's level when it disappears. Cause that one there she was doing, you could see the green light on it. You gotta keep the sawdust out of the way though. <laughs> it blocks the light. Sawdust what? I said you gotta keep the sawdust brushed off though because it, it's taller than it. Oh yeah, it blocks, it blocks the light. The light. Yeah. That's easy. It's touching that one just hair, ain't it? Mm -hmm. See when you can see, you can see the light on the log. That means it's just a tiny, tiny bit high. This one was, that here you can see, you can see that right there. So it's gotta come down that much. All right, I'll let you get back to work. Okay, I want to really show this to you guys. See that this green? She's already took this down, so the green's gone. This board is high. You can see it. That laser level is really invaluable. That's that's high all the way down here. After she gets this down, that'll shoot on across. So she's going to take that planer and finish that. Yeah. Yep. yep. Watch that green okay. disappear.
I am glad we got that level. Is those, hang on a minute. Can I zoom in on those? That sawdust is green. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. That is just crazy. Anyway. So, just want to tell everybody that laser level is worth its money. Yeah, it would have been nice to have some. I wish we had it earlier in our build. But anyway, I recommend it.